Walkers? In this video, we're gonna go over the proper way to feed your parrot. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. Now, the fact is 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you find this video valuable, please hit the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and start. So first thing I wanna address is a big misconception when it comes to a lot of people feeding their first parrot. And the big issue is a lot of people will actually feed their parrot with a seed diet because they think, oh, well, birds eat seeds in the wild. Well, not entirely true. You see, in the wild, birds actually eat all kinds of things from insects, fruits, vegetables, seeds as well, uh, bark, leaves, all kinds of various things because they need a balanced diet. Giving parrots a seed diet is like feeding your child cheeseburgers every single day of their life. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of health conditions and health issues that arise from this. So if you want your parrot to actually have a nice long lifespan, do not feed an all seed diet. What I recommend instead is to feed your parrot pellets. You see, pellet diets are actually really crucial because pellets are designed to actually have all the balanced nutrition your parrot needs to survive and have a long, healthy life. Now, personally, I use Harrison's Bird Foods as a diet, and I do have links in the description down below for this. And the reason I like Harrison's is it was actually invented by a vet who was sick and tired of seeing poor nutrition from all his clients. So the vet created his own pellet formula that has all the nutrition a parrot in captivity needs to survive and have a healthy life. Now, on top of that, parrots still need a varied diet. So as such, I also recommend mixing your pellet diet with some other things occasionally. It's good to offer a daily snack of either fruits or veggies or both, really depending on what your bird likes. <laughs> Can you not clean your beak on the microphone? There we go. There we go. Thank you. As I was saying, some parrot species prefer vegetables like cockatiels, while other species like tropical birds, like sakura, being very high energy, needs a lot more sugar, so fruits are what they prefer. So if you supplement all those things together, you will have a very healthy diet for your parrot. But now comes the question what not to feed your parrot, because let me just tell you, that list can be pretty long. All right, guys, well, she's gonna be the spokesperson today. So uh, we're just gonna do the video like this because she really likes this microphone for some reason. In fact, is there are also a lot of things you shouldn't be feeding your parrot, and it's quite a long list, but bear with me. I'll go over the main big things and just the main reasons as to why. So first off, you cannot feed your bird anything with caffeine, as caffeine really hypes up a bird and can cause cardiac arrest. So avoid anything that has caffeine. Next up is chocolate because it has caffeine. Avocados contain a chemical called persin that is poisonous to birds. Avoid avocados. You may be tempted to occasionally let a bird snack from you and while that's okay in very, very trace amounts, avoid anything like diet drinks or diet candies as sugar-free snacks generally have a chemical called xylitol that causes hypoglycemia and can also kill birds. So avoid that. Huh? Next up is to avoid seeds from the rose family. And the reason being is seeds from the rose family of trees offer fruits things like apples, cherries, peaches, all of those fruit seeds all contain cyanide, which is very toxic to birds. While humans were bigger, we can take trace amounts of cyanides, birds are way smaller and they can't, so just avoid that. Three more things. Onions, they contain sulfur compounds. That's toxic to birds. Avoid garlic, as that contains allicin, which is a toxic chemical. And last, avoid salty snacks in general. Now, while it's not going to outright kill a bird or anything, birds really struggle with passing off salt, so you want to keep it into very, very trace amounts, like barely a nibble, and that's about it. But just, just avoid salty foods in general. So anyways, that about sums it up. Thank you guys for watching. Hit subscribe. See you next time.